what's up acj universe what's up pineapple is before i get into this video make sure to hit that subscribe button comment share and like also check out my cousin's youtube page and twitch stream he streams apex legends call of duty the, the rant the rant that's how you say the name and he also makes music um sorry about the fan if i turn the fan off it's gonna get extremely hot and then you're gonna see me sweating i, don't, I know y'all don't want to see me sweat so but I want to talk about how Deadpool can enter the MCU. We know who plays Deadpool. Ryan Reynolds, he brought the character to life um, with his two movies and his cameos or whatever. Um, so I had an idea of all the movies. Deadpool kills the MCU. Um, if you don't know about that, read that comic book. Um, it was At first, it was Punisher killed the um, MCU, but they made it Deadpool. So uh, we got Deadpool versus Hulk, Deadpool Wolverine. We got Deadpool and Spider-Man. I mean, all these movies <coughs> can come together or come to life. Um, so I thought what could bring Deadpool into the MCU um, was Deadpool kills the MCU. So hear me out. Just hear me out. So I was thinking, you know, for the movie, he does, like, kill the MCU. But there's going to be a lot of people and a lot of actors that come back. Like, you have Iron Man, Robert Downey Jr. get killed by him. You have Chris Evans, Captain America, even though that's his favorite superhero. Um... You have them killing the Hulk, Luke Cage. It can bring so many people to the MCU or some characters to the MCU. And then he just wakes up. It was just a big dream. Like he was like, oh, it's not been. And then he wakes up, turn around. Vanessa is gone. And he sees Ash or Dust or whatever you want to call it. When Thanos did the snap. So I'm thinking that could be a big lead in how he joins the MCU. Because that would make him wonder and ask questions. Then he goes to Cable. Or goes to Colossus and makes on Teenage Warhead, and then that brings them also into it. And Cable like tries to figure out what's going on, also because he can see it in the future. Um, then I was thinking we can bring Hugh Jackman back because I really like to see Hugh, Jack Hugh Jackman in his Wolverine suit. I mean, we have not yet seen him, we just seen him in the white tank top with the Wrangler jeans and the cowboy boots. Nothing wrong with that, I love that, but I do want to see the blue and yellow X Men suit. Um, I think bringing Hugh Jackman back with Ryan Reynolds because their chemistry is already there. Um, that can be a good movie that leads into something else or another sequel. And they can bring in the um, X Force. I think that's no Weapon X. Um, I got to mix up with Deadpool too. Um, I think that could be a big lead. Hulk versus Deadpool. I like to see just because um, to see. Mark Ruffalo and Ryan Reynolds, or see the Hulk versus Deadpool. I just wanted to see all these ideas come together for Deadpool because he's like my favorite anti-hero um, in MCU. And if it was if he was in DC, he would be my favorite still if they had a crossover. Um, I would like to see Spider-Man and Deadpool movie. I'm pretty sure we'll get one of those, of course, but we don't really know because Tom Holland Spider-Man is still with Sony, kinda, and still with Disney. I don't know what was resolved, but I'm still thinking that he's still gonna go to Sony because they have Venom, and Tom Hardy has been like letting pictures out of Venom eating Spider-Man, so we don't know yet. Or unless there's a picture of, you know, that he killed Andrew Garfield Spider-Man or Tobey Maguire, but we don't know yet. But Deadpool and um, Tom Holland, I like to see that. I'm not really a Tom Holland fan, well, Spider-Man fan, but I would like to see that either way. Come on, little girl. Um, I like to see that. Um, Deadpool meets Captain America, his favorite superhero. Um, Deadpool meets Daredevil. Daredevil was supposed to come into Spider-Man 3 at home. I don't know, what it would call him? Um, I think Spider-Man 3 home it, okay, we had Homecoming. We had Far From Home. I don't know what the third one would be called. Hold on. Home. I don't know. Home Court. I don't know. Probably Home Court. I'm going to go with Home Court. Um, but to see all these things come together for Deadpool, I'd like to see him in the MCU so bad and see him interact with, you know, the Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Thor, uh, Black Widow, but she's dead, so can't be dead. Um, Lady Death, he like he can, he can introduce Lady Death for us because he has a crush on her, and Thanos also does have a crush, but he's dead also, so I don't, I don't know. But um, we also was supposed to get a Danny Glover, aka Charles Gambino, was supposed to make a Deadpool series on FX, but they got cut short and it never aired. Um, look into that if y'all didn't know about it. 
Uh, what else would I like to see? I like to see Deadpool and Samuel Jackson because they had the bond, I think, in the Hitman's Bodyguard. Uh, so Nick Fury meets Deadpool. Deadpool could have been like in the helicarrier the whole time and he didn't know. Um, it's just so many ideas that they can do. But I want to also talk about other characters entering the MCU, like the Fantastic Four, uh, Doctor Doom, uh, Spider Gwen. Like, I want to see all these characters, you know, coming. I want to see Miles Morales. He'd probably be in Sony. Honestly, Miles Morales probably be in Sony in case, you know, Sony doesn't want Tom Holland no more. We can bring in Miles Morales. That would be nice. I'm not saying I'm about Tom Holland, but that would be nice. Then so it can just depart from Disney. And so they got their own thing. Um, we got Deadpool versus Carnage, because Carnage is supposed to be the Venom too. So Deadpool did fight Carnage. Deadpool versus Venom. Um, Deadpool versus Kraven. I just want to see all these movies come together. I know a lot of movies with uh, Deadpool in it, but he's like my favorite anti-hero, so that's why I like think of thinking of him first. Um, but I will do another take on the Fantastic Four and Doctor Doom and what I want to see, and I also want to do the Green Goblin. I want to see Oscorp. So I'm thinking it's either going to be Fantastic Four or Oscorp that takes over the Stark Tower. I can't think of nobody else that can really take over the tower like that and make it that big. So that was my take on the Deadpool. Um, if you like what I have in mind or you want to know or want me to know what you think, let me know in the comments. Um, subscribe, share, comment, and share all that good stuff. Um, roll to 250, then 500, then 1K. Thank you so much for the support. Um, make sure to check out my cousin's YouTube page and Twitch. Thank you so much. Peace.